What is up guys? We are back for another random battle live today. I actually have two uh, viewers. I don't know if you're both viewers, but I have two uh, people on board with me today. Uh, we've got Panda and Toma. How you doing guys? Very good. good. Very good. Hello YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how you, you guys, uh, you guys ready to go? You guys used to this kind of stuff or? Yeah, I, I've done this one with someone else, but I think it's Thomas' first time. Yeah, showdown's been a while. It's been a while since it's been a showdown, so I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. All right, we'll try to do our best. I'll, I'll try to let you guys talk a little bit and see what your uh, thought process is on the battles. We'll just jump right into one here. Uh, we have a an Arbok versus a Beautifly. So, uh, Toma, why don't you take the first play? What do you want to do here? Look at the team, Look at uh, think it over, and I uh, want to hear your, uh, your play here. Okay, so... Uh, I think you could probably. I mean, I think this beautiful is gonna set up, so you think I it's... would not go for sucker punch. All right, so you, you definitely uh, are going for sucker punch. You think it's gonna quiver yeah. up? Yeah, I think you might just set up now, to be honest. All right, yeah. It's gonna start quivering up. So what do you want to do? Uh, possibly coil. I think I said or gunk shot. Best shot. I think gunk shot's yeah. a good play, uh, cause coil yeah, is shot. gonna let it set up for free. So yeah, I say just gunk shot, shay up. Yeah, just go ahead. Yeah. Uh, click click that gunk shot, man. Let's see what happens. All right, we got 100% off of that thing. All right, cool. First knockout. Way to go, Arbok. We are life orb, so that did a lot of damage. And uh, nice. able to pick up a first kill. Good call on that play, man. All right. Panda, I'll let you take the next one, all right? Okay. Well, depending on what he sends out. All right, so we got a Yuxi here. Obviously, this isn't a very good matchup for us. Yeah, I say definitely switch out. I yeah. think um, Nargon should be a pretty safe in. Yeah, Agron, yeah. Agron's pretty good, yeah. Yeah, so I'm just gonna click that. Alright. Let's get T-Wave. That's not too bad. I think we can work with that. What do we have on this thing? We have stuff. Okay, so this is a setup Agron. Uh, yeah, so I'll take this up. I'll take this play. It's pretty uh it's relatively easy here. I'm just gonna mega evolve and get up our rocks. And uh, he's yeah, gonna nice. U-turn, so we're gonna be able to get some residual damage on this Uxie the next time it comes in. And uh, he's already seen that we got an Agron, so what's good is that if we're ever in Arbok versus Yuxi again, he's probably going to attack us a attack us, and we can get off a, uh, a Sucker Punch on it and get off a lot of damage. So uh, so, so here he's going to bring in Love Disc. We're already status, so he can't burn us if he's carrying Scald. Uh, Tommy, you want to just Stealth Rocks again? or yeah. Stealth Rocks, best yeah. choice so far. Oh, okay. Let's hope we can break through. Okay, we're, we're parafused oh. right now. <laughs> I, think, uh, I think we're just going to have to keep clicking Stealth Rocks here. Yeah, yeah, just hope for the best. Yeah, that's it. And we keep hitting ourselves in confusion, unfortunately. But we need those rocks up just in case. Because random bottles, you, you find a lot of flying types, a lot of quad weeks to uh, to rocks. So it doesn't matter that we keep hitting ourselves. we got to just keep trying to get up these rocks, I think. And uh, we get paralyzed on that turn. So he's going to he's gonna hacks us all the way down, unfortunately. Uh, what we could do here is he's probably going to... Uh, we, we might want to keep this as death fodder. Um, you could go into Toxic Croak here. Panda, I'm gonna let you take this one. Toxicroak has dry skin, so it, it won't be affected by the Scald, if that's what you want to do. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. You can hear me, or... You guys good? Guys, I think we're having... Yeah, just... I'm How many gonna... times in a row is that? Like, like four or five? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to pause it, because I think we're having some te uh, technical difficulty, uh, Hello, uh, difficulties. Hello, so, so, I'm back, I'm back. You're back? You're here? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, alright. No, no, it's all good. Yeah, yeah, sorry, I was, what I was going to say is just, I thought we could have um, sort of swapped out to Vaporeon and then go for the or even, bell, but it's Or even Toxicroak, or even Toxicroak. I was actually thinking of just keeping Aggron for Death Fodder and not even healing off its status, it was fine, but uh, we, yeah. we can, uh, I think we can go into Toxicroak directly here. Uh, yeah, just go straight in, yeah. I think. Yeah, I think so too. Do we have Swords Dance on this thing? No, we have Substitute though, that's pretty good. Yeah, we'll be able to sub. yeah I'll just go for a sub. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because I don't think this love disc is going to be... Uh, okay, well, it is max speed, apparently. Uh, but we do get off the sub, which is great. As uh, we are not any kind of leftovers. We're life or a sub, li a sub leftovers uh, it was, okay. uh, is usually a set, but sub life orb? That's kind of weird. All right, well, uh, I think we just keep firing off gunk shots, guys. I think it worked out for us the first turn, so... Yeah, yeah. gunk shot it up. All right, All right. let's do that. He, he does not break our sub with an ice beam, which is good, but we hit ourselves in confusion, which is unfortunate. He's just gonna confuse us all the way down. I think we're gonna lose this one to confusion, guys. Oh, it ends. There we go. And we get off a big nice. gunk shot and able to knock out the love disc. Okay, another one down to gunk shot, guys. We're poison team right here. Arbok and uh, Arbok and Toxicroak might get the thumbnail oh. to themselves. <laughs> go for a sub, I think. You think? Yeah, I think. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna uh, psychic. He probably Thunderwave. Predicting all right. A switch. Well, I'll leave it up to you, Toma. Go for it. 
Do you think that's the right play? It's quite risky. Yeah, no, well, I mean, the worst thing that happens is that he outspeeds us and psychics us and knocks us out, but I mean, yep. that's not too big a deal. And there we go. <laughs> wow. All right, well, that's fine. You know what's good is that we have a we have a frost last in the back, and we can start setting up spikes and then destiny bond this thing before it takes us out. So yeah, that's not too bad. All right, so I would just go for uh, for you want a thunder wave first or? Yeah, I say thunder wave. Yeah, first. Yeah, T wave. Yeah, T wave's yeah. good. All right, we'll go for that. So he goes into Blissey, which has natural cure, but uh, now we can just get up a bunch of layers of spikes. I don't even think Blissey can touch us outside of toxic, so. Yeah. I think we I think we go to our block and start setting up. You think? But uh, it's your choice. Uh, yeah, I... yeah, that's that's a good play actually, because if he does have toxic, we'll be immune. Yeah, I'll go uh, I'll go into our block, and then uh, we'll start coiling. He gets up rocks anyway, so not a big deal. Fine. Yeah, just keep coiling. I think. Yeah, let's go for a coil. All right, sounds good. As he, he's gonna switch out into a scissor, uh, that's a little unfortunate, but uh, what do we have to hit this thing with? Aqua Tail? Aqua Tail, yeah. Yeah. Alright, let's go for it. Let's see what happens. And, uh, he's Mega Scissor, hopefully he's not super bulky. Seems to be a little bit yes. bulky, but uh, he's gonna go for Bug Bite, which is resisted, which is perfectly fine. Uh, we can just fire- You wanna coil again instead of firing off an Aqua Tail? You're predicting a Roost, or...? Uh, yeah, I think. He probably might roost. All right. Or... All right. Let's go for quick. Yeah. He's got Miss Magius. Yeah. Okay. Good. We can sucker punch this. Yeah. Go for the sucker punch. All right. Let's. I just go for the Willow, but. He might, hey. but. That's it. That's if he's got it. Often Miss Magius doesn't carry it, in random battles. So, let's let's hope for the best. Let's hope he has a special move and he just goes for it. Uh, yeah. See, there we go. Nice. All right. Uh, Knockout on the Miss Magius. All right. So uh, all of our kills uh, up until now have been one hit KOs. <laughs> I don't think uh, we're gonna get that from now on, but looking pretty solid. Now, if he goes Uxie directly, I would actually just attack it and not Sucker Punch, because uh... yeah. All right, so Scissor comes out. You guys want Aqua Tail again? Yeah, just Aqua Tail. It. All right, let's do it. It's a hundred percent accurate Aqua Tail thanks to the coil. So this is good. So we're gonna we're gonna crit the Scissor. All right, another knockout. We should be able to pick this one up, guys. Yeah, pretty easily. Yep. Alright, so you can see comes out. You guys want to sucker or just attack? I that... think, looking at this guy, I don't think he's going to go for the Thunder Wave. No? Cause, yeah, just... you know, he bugged by our, our box, so, you know. Alright, fair enough, fair enough. Alright, let's let's go for sucker. And it fails, uh, unfortunately. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Alright. Well, uh, we do have oh, Shed Skin, though. Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah, are we fa are we faster than his Uxie? If it's defensive Uxie, we are faster. So. No, because it outsped our Toxic Rogue, right? Yeah, we're yeah, not faster. Think, yeah, I think we have to go for the Sucker, sucker punch, punch again. Yeah. I think he's just going to Thunder Wave again. I don't think he wants to die to a Sucker Punch. Or, yeah, or Aqua Tail. Yeah? Or accuracy. Well, a Gunk Shot is 100% accurate right now, too. We have two coils up. True, true. So, all right, let's go for a Gunk Shot. Let's see what happens. All right, well, he Psychic's there. <laughs> That's unfortunate, but... Um, what do we have? We have a Life Orb, uh, Rotom. We have. We're gonna have to find a way to take down that uh, that Blissey. Uh, do we have any kind of status on anything? We have some Thunder Wave, but that's not gonna help in this situation. Um, I think we so just. We... Yeah. What were you gonna so say? We could always go. Yeah. So we could always go for the Skull Burn and Blissey and just try to. No yeah. wear him down. Yeah, as long as this Uxie's around, though, he's going to um, he's going to be able to switch out and get the natural cure. So I think we have to get rid of Uxie as, as soon as possible. Yeah, definitely. And I would also like a little bit of residual damage on the Blissey. So I'm actually going to go Frost last, and I think what we do here is set up spikes. Just get a couple of layers of, of spikes out. He has he has um, levitate anyway. So yeah, the Uxie does. But if his Blissey is forced to switch out, that means when it comes back in, it takes 25% if we get all layers up. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah true. This is not bad. Uh, I'm not too afraid of this thing toxicing us, as it's the only thing it can do to us, because our Vaporeon has Heal Bell. So I, I say we just get up all layers. See, he switches out into Uxie. There we go. All right, cool. So uh, what's this Uxie going to do to us? It's going gonna, it's gonna to Thunder Wave us, I guess? True. Yeah, yeah we should Thunder Wave him as yeah, well. Thunder yeah, Thunder Wave back. Yeah, let's Thunder Wave him back. Okay. All right. Let's get that off. He's, he's got Knock Off. Okay, but that's the only time he's going to be able to knock us off and actually uh, get rid of an item, so... Can uh, just go for Destiny Bond? Yeah, I think we have to Destiny Bond. Yeah, I think so too, because I think he's going to go for another knockoff. That's a good play. Oh, no, he Thunder Waves us. Okay. All right, I guess, I guess you saw that coming. Um, do we just keep spamming Destiny Bond? Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's do it. All right, he's going to switch out. That's fine. 
Blissey's gonna come in and take some damage. Uh, it is leftovers, which is to be expected. Um, what do you guys want to do here? Set the last layer of spike. I don't think he can knock us out, can he? He shouldn't be able to. He does have uh, heal bell on his Blissey, but that's okay. His Blissey can't touch us. It really can't do anything yeah, to us. Yeah, can't. Unless he's carrying some special move, but we can just T-Wave again. He's got a Wish, so he's going to be able to yeah. uh, to cycle through. I think we T-Wave again, predicting a switch, in, a switch into uh, Yuxi. Yep. Yep. All right. All right, there we go. Call that right, and we get it off. Awesome. And uh, it's unfortunate we lost our Arbok. I think we should have Sucker Punched as Panda said. That's my fault, yeah. but... Um, All right. Let's see here. I kind of want to switch out into Vaporeon. I know the rocks are up and we're going to come back in at 9%, but I'd really like to get rid of this paralysis. So, let's see. Yeah, let's go into Vaporeon. Let's do that. There's no sense in staying in. As he uh, gets fully parried there, which is perfectly fine. And, uh... It's really unfortunate that his Blissey also has Heal Bell. Um... We're gonna have to stall that out. All right, so we're gonna go for Scald here. We're just getting a little bit of damage off on the Uxie. He's gonna go for Thunder Wave, that's okay. Now we can uh, heal Bell off all the status on our side. You might wanna switch out here as he does not, and we are able to get off the heal Bell. All right, well, how, how do you guys wanna approach this end game here? Because we don't have any physical attackers, it's gonna be extremely hard to take down that Blissey. So. Uh, I say um, we have to take down Uxie first. Um, yeah. Just. Um, yeah, just fucking, just Blizzy alone won't be that hard, I think. Yeah, I know. Yeah, no, no, definitely. It's uh, it's got a limited amount of soft boils, so let's keep scalding. Yeah. Try to take down this Uxie. Uh, it doesn't have any. Uh, we actually get a crit on that one, which is really great. And yeah, uh, just keep going. Just keep sp spamming scald, right? Yeah, keep spamming. That's a good play. Yeah, definitely. He's gonna go for knockoff. Get rid of our leftovers. Not a big deal. He's gonna fire off another scald here. And uh, he's gonna bring in his Blissey. He's playing well, he's playing well uh, to keep himself in the game. Uh, we're gonna get the burn. We are, which is great. Uh, he can heal Bell it off, but uh, then he's gonna have to heal Bell, Wish. Um, what do we wanna do here? You know what? I kinda wanna Wish myself, as he's gonna go Wish as well. And uh, now what I'm gonna do is Baton Pass into our Frost Lass and get healed yeah, up. Yeah. And that's going to end up working out. He's going to go for a heal bell, but our frost sauce is going to go back up to 78, which is amazing. And now we can start spamming uh, Thunder Wave again and paralyze something. Again, his Blissey can't do anything to us, so uh, he gets fully parried on that turn. I think frost sauce is a little bit stronger than Vaporeon. No, it's not actually. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's see, let's see. We've got Pain Split on Rotom, which is good because we'll be able to infinitely heal up on the Blissey as it has way yep. more HP than us. So I'm just gonna fire off an Ice Beam here, see how much it does. He's gonna go for Wish. Uh, he doesn't have Soft Boiled, it doesn't seem like it anyway. So, he's gonna run Ice. out of- Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no, no, it's all good. Uh, I say we keep spamming Ice Beams, that's fine. His Uxie actually comes directly in. It's gonna take an Ice Beam, and it's gonna get its Wish back, unfortunately, but... Uh, what I'm actually gonna do here, guys, is I'm gonna pause, because this is a very stally end game. <laughs> And uh, we'll come back when something big happens. Yeah. All right, guys. So it came down to uh, basically wish stalling, and uh, he won the battle because he had a much better core than we did. Obviously, <laughs> we didn't have anything physical to, to hit his Blissey with or his Yuxi for that matter. So we definitely should have sucker punched like Panda said earlier uh, when Yuxi went for uh, for Psychic. But uh, we'll chalk that one up as a loss. Not a big deal. We'll just click that X and forfeit. And uh, we'll jump into the next one. We'll keep this one short because I know these guys have to leave very soon, unfortunately. I would have liked to have them around a little bit longer, but uh, uh, they're in a different time zone, as you might be able to tell by their accents. <laughs> and uh, they got to get to uh, they gotta get to some stuff later today. So uh, so we actually open up with a Gorbis uh, against the Slow King, which is a pretty good matchup for us, uh, looking at Hidden mm -hmm. Power Grass. Yeah. You guys just want to... Yeah. yeah, go for the again. So Shell Smash. Yeah, just Shell Smash. Right off the bat, yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. We'll do it. All right. Awesome. As we have uh, White Herb, and he has Toxic, so that's a little, uh, it's a little bad. But uh, you guys just want to Shell Smash again? Yeah, just go for it again. All right, let's do it. And uh, let's see what he does. As he goes for Scald, that's not going to do too much, and he can't burn us. So here we go for a Hidden Power Grass, try to hit this Slow King as yeah. hard as possible. And it's not going to get knocked out, unfortunately. Uh, and he has Grass Knot, so the Poison's going to take us out. But, um, what do we have in the back here? 
Hmm. Victor Bell's looking pretty good. Uh, what do you, what, what would you guys do here? Um, to be fair, hmm. I think, yeah, I think Victor Bell. Victor Bell? Yeah, do we yeah. outspeed yeah. the sloking? Of course we do, yeah, we're good. Uh, I would say just Sleep Powder here, because he's more than likely switching out. Yeah, I just go for Sleep Powder. You get the Regenerator on his sloking, so. Yeah, yeah if he doesn't, we can just throw guns. Yeah, exactly. Alright, that's pretty good. Let's try to get a Victor Bell sweep. Let's see what we can do. We probably should have baton passed at some point with the Gorobis, but <laughs> yeah, we, it is what it is. We, we could have even have. We didn't have. Oh, we didn't that. That's right. Yeah, we were three uh, three moves. As he goes into a Zelf here, so we're gonna put that thing to sleep. That's awesome. Yeah, sword dance. Uh, yeah, let's go for it. Let's do it. As uh, he hasn't burnt off a turn of sleep yet, we'll be able to swords dance and follow it up with a sucker punch on the turn uh, that we think he's gonna wake up. So. All right, who's playing what in the back? I hear that. <laughs> Somebody's playing the handheld. Who is it? <laughs> Tell me, it's you, isn't it? Because it's, uh, no, it's not me. No, it's not me. You're, you're not you sure? Oh, maybe it's coming from your in-game audio on Showdown, guys. Yeah, it might be. You know you can turn off the music on the, uh, on the top right. We actually missed that power whip, which is a little unfortunate, but we can go for another one here. I know he has sturdy. But uh, we'll be able to... I can, we don't even bring him down to sturdy, so... Uh, Flash Cannon is going to do a little bit. Uh, we can just power up again. That's fine. Hopefully not miss. And uh, there we go. So Proba Pass is gone. And uh, let's see what else this guy's got. So we know our Victor Bell handles his, uh, his team pretty well. He's actually got a Mammoth Swine, so that's a little bit scary. Um, he can actually outspeed up if he's max speed. You guys want to switch into maybe uh, Grumpig here? Ooh, I don't think any of them can take the hit anyway, so well, I, I think just sack well, Victory I Bell. I definitely think he's not going for an Earthquake here. Victory Bells are pretty much one of our best answers to the Slow King. This is going to keep yeah. getting regenerated back, so I think we definitely need to keep it. And Power Whip does a lot to anything really at this point, anything that we've seen, so... I think Registeel is pretty solid. We're, uh, we're evenly defensed, so... And he's definitely not going for EQ right here. So there we go, there's the Icicle Crash, able to take that no problem. And, uh, we have a bunch of setup mons, man. <laughs> we have Swords Dance Halucha, we have Swords Dance Victory Bell, Smash, uh, Gorbis, and now we have Curse Registeel as well. Um, I would even just curse here, honestly. As he's gonna go into Slow King, that's fine. Uh, we can that's rest, we, we can rest off any kind of burn, so. We're, uh, we're looking good here. Um, yeah, it's not like we can hit him anyway. Yeah, exactly. So he's uh, he's not gonna get the burn on the first one. We're gonna do a little bit of damage uh, with the iron head there. I say we just keep cursing, honestly. Yeah, just keep going. Yeah. And uh, as long as he doesn't get a burn, we're fine. We can keep cursing up here. And at some point, he's gonna have to pull a switch into something. I mean, as soon as he sees he sees rest, that's pretty much it. Uh, I don't really want to play around with a scald crit, so I would actually just rest right here. Yeah. Oh. oh. Okay. Never mind. I didn't yeah, he was faster than us, but uh, that's not going to matter. Uh, we're going to be able to sleep talk right here. His fire blast is going to do a, a good amount if it can actually land, um, <laughs> but it doesn't seem like it wants to. And uh, We can keep, keep sleep talking here, and next turn we're going to go for a an iron head. So That, uh, that fire blast is actually doing quite a bit. It's, uh, it's a three-hit KO, so... Um, kind of want to... Let's see. Uh, fire blast does 40. What'd you guys click? Iron Head. Iron Head, okay. So now if he lands another Fire Blast, uh, we're pretty much done. Um, try to rest up. See if that, uh, if that works out. Let's, let's attempt it. And, uh, nope, he's gonna land the Fire Blast, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't think we need that anyway. No, I don't think so either. Um, can we go Halucha and set up once again? And just win? Because uh, we have sub, so we can sub on his Toxic. I'm debating um, Halucha and Swallow, yeah. yeah. Do you think Aquabatics is gonna kill? Uh, I don't think, without a, without a Swords Dance, I don't think so. 
I think it's gonna do yeah, about 40. Think kill. So. Do you think a facade from Guts? Guts, well, yeah, I think... That, that'll that will definitely kill. kill. Yeah, but I don't want him to switch out into, um... Into Mamoswine on the Protect. That's the only thing I'm scared of. You know what I mean? Yeah, but... but uh, yeah, but we outspeed Mamoswine anyway. I don't think he has... Um... Ice Shard? Ice Shard. I don't think he does, like... Random he'd... battle thing. Yeah, you, be you, you think he wouldn't have he would have gone for it on the Victor Bell? That's a possibility. Okay, so let's go into Swallow. Let's protect to get the guts. As he does, yeah, just go. go for the Scald, and now we can freely facade, and we haven't taken any damage yet. So that's pretty good. If he goes directly into Mamoswine, that that'll lead me to believe that it. Oh, he actually has Capagrigus. Okay. All right, good play on his part, but we can Brave Bird this, right? We're gonna lose mm -hmm. our guts, but I think uh, I think it's worth it to damage this. Yeah. Uh, so now we're never we're definitely not going to be doing as much. Uh, he's got hidden power. What? Probably Grass, Gra no, not grass. Not grass. Something um, fighting? Fighting, fighting. fighting yeah, yeah, fighting makes sense um, So I guess we just go for another brave bird here And then we can pretty much bring in Halucha on this thing and just set up a sub So he brings back in his slow king. That's fine. We're gonna go for the brave bird Swallow is gonna go down there, and uh, I think it's time for Halucha guys. I think it's uh, I think it's just time. Um, do we want to just straight up swords dance, or are we flying gem? We are flying gem. Oh, we're flying gem boosted acrobatics. We could, we don't even have to swords dance. Yeah. Oh, never mind. I was sure that was gonna take him out, but never uh, never mind. All right, so that's fine though, cause he wasn't able to knock us out, and we can just go for another one here. Yeah. And, uh, one. and he brings back an excavagrigus, which actually makes us lose our uh, our unburden. Unfortunately, um, it's probably still faster. We're still faster than his uh, mammoth swine, so that's not too bad. We can just acro this again, get rid of it, and uh, this thing puts in a lot of work now. Actually, uh, as mammoth swine comes in, I'm I'm pretty sure he's sashed, but we might as well just high jump kick anyway. Yeah, high jump. Ooh. Oh, he does have the ice shard. Okay, all right, he got a crit on that. Uh, I don't know if that mattered or not, but uh, I would um, say going to grump pig here. Yeah. Set up. Uh, set up a reflect. Of course. Yeah, reflect. Yeah, that way Victor Bell can... Uh, are we like Clay? We are. So our Reflect stays up for 8 turns. Is he going to bring in a Slow King? We can Toxic this. And uh, whittle it down. And uh, he's going to Toxic us as well. Not a big deal. Um, do we just want to switch into Victor Bell here directly? Because we're going to run out of Reflect at some point. Yep. Alright, so let's just go straight into it. It's fine. We've already seen that he doesn't have a, a Psychic move. So he pretty much can't, can't touch us outside of Scald, and he actually gets the burn. That sucks. All right. Well, uh, I guess our only hope is the Swords Dance here, and hope we can bring it back with this. He goes into his Elf. Uh, I say we Power Whip first because I don't think he's actually killed off a turn of Sleep yet. I can't remember, but I don't think he has. We'll damage it first. Are we Life Orb? We're not. Okay. So I think. Oh, we're Leftovers. Okay. We can still do this. Um, I would Sucker Punch here. Okay. You guys agree? Yeah, second punch. All right, there we go. All right, so we took care of that, and uh, we're not faster, I think, than his mammoth swine. But I don't think he takes us out with an ice shard behind a uh, behind a reflect. I'm not 100 percent sure, but he might not be no, able no, to. No, I think I think he will. Yeah. Yeah, I think we just go for the sea powder. He's gonna take us out anyway. I don't think we lift this. All right, so let's go for powder. As he actually goes for EQ, yeah. that's definitely going to take us out, yeah. Alright, well with a Toxic Grump Pig, I don't think we can make it back on this one either, guys, unfortunately. Yeah, I'd... Oh, alright, so we get a crit there. Uh, Grump Pig can take the EQ, and we'll be able to Psychic this thing again. He'll be able to Ice Shard here, but he actually chooses to go into his Octillery. Um, and that's pretty much going to be a good game, unfortunately, because of the Toxic. So we were we yeah. cut it we cut it close on that one, but uh, sorry guys we couldn't I couldn't pull it out for you unfortunately I really wanted to get a couple of wins while you guys were here, but I let you down. Nah, I'm sorry it's <laughs> All right, it's kind of alpha as well. No, yeah, no, it's it all good. it's all good. It's a, it's a joint effort We uh, we all tried and uh, hopefully we'll have better luck next time, but it is random battles guys It's uh, it's it's not really in your control what you get uh, you can only play as well as uh, as the mons you're given so but uh, but we did our best, and uh, look, I'll have you guys on again sometime soon. You guys are fun, so we'll uh, we'll try to have a redemption episode. How about that?
Yeah, definitely. Yep. Oh, I'll have you on my channel as well if we get time. Yeah, for sure. I'd, I'd be happy to yep. come on anytime then. All right. All right, perfect. So uh, once again, guys, thanks for watching. Sorry about the two losses on this one. Hit the like button if you did enjoy, regardless of the losses. Subscribe if you want to see more. Not losing, of course. But uh, thanks again for watching. Have a good one.